it was a game for us. Uh, I thought this team was very well prepared. They put the ball in the hands of their, their best player. We had a kind of an unorthodox game that was very challenging for us. So, uh, and I'm not real sure he was shooting the jump shot. I'm not real sure he was making a layup. But all I know he was putting it in. He's putting it in the hole. It's very difficult for us to uh, to get a rhythm on, on those type of floaters that uh, sometimes he's shooting on the way up, sometimes on the way down. Uh, the little push shot, it was, it was extremely challenging. The first 10 minutes of the game, we scored 10 points. The last 30 minutes of the game, we scored 8, eight points. So obviously, we, we're showing that we have the ability to score. I've said all along that I was concerned about our defense. They shot 44% from the floor. Lot, lot because you know they had a, a guy who was a big versus young stalker for us tonight and they had shooters on the corners. Uh, our defensive techniques are, are not very good right now. Uh, they need a lot to be a lot to be desired. Uh, our, our youngsters are, are losing sight and, and it's not the fundamentals that we're trying to work on is is not as easy to uh, to, to accomplish this early in the season for some of our guys and we they challenged all our defensive principles tonight. And, but, he, but I can look back in the game, and I thought that every player who played had a moment where they got a lot of things right. They made good plays, we had good stops, uh, we moved the ball. Uh, they, they play what you call a, a kind of a pack line style of defense, kind of very similar to the University of Virginia. In the beginning of the game, uh, that style causes you to be somewhat hesitant each time you catch the ball because they back off you and they, they, they clog the, the lane up. So each time you, you catch the ball, you think you got a pass or you think you got a shot. And we're trying to train our guys to make decisions with 0.5 seconds after you receive the ball. And obviously we were extremely hesitant, trying to read things, putting it on the floor. The ball was sticking a little bit. But we had moments where we moved the ball very well. We had 25 deflections, which I thought was very, very good. On the contested shots, they shot a very low percentage. On the uncontested shots, they shot a high percentage. But, but, but overall, to, 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 to maybe not quite be at our best and play them, and I thought they played excellent. They did a great job. They were very well prepared. I saw some progress with a lot of guys who came out and made some contributions. We just got to find a way to build on it, on the positive, and let's see keep working on those areas of our game that we need to improve. Coach? I think these guys want to get to bed. How much more difficult was it with the longer bench tonight just to try to work work in different people and different, different combinations? Well, I thought it was a lot easier because I had some I had some options that I didn't have. We had a big we had a, a big guard that was giving us problems scoring. Uh, so I thought Phil came out in the second half did a very good job. We were able to go with Monte who was six eight. And he was able to do a good job. So that gave us a few options that we didn't really have. We didn't have. Uh, I was able to uh, give X some rest uh, at certain periods during the game. I thought that it helped him. Uh, I thought that uh, we, we were able to not be put in a situation where we were forced to play guys extended minutes. We could give guys a little bit more of a rest. So I think that's something we have to work through. Uh, there's a lot more positive positives uh, when you're dealing with the rotation that we have. I think that's who we are. I'm not real sure that last year played one guy 36, one guy 35, and one guy 34. We know what that does to you. And so uh, we think this is a lot better, <laughs> to say the least. Are you happy with the shot selection of, of the young guys so far? Malik was 7 of 11. Dwayne took 18, but we made 10 of them. When I, when, I look, when I think back, and I don't think we took very many four shots, contested shots. I think we're doing a pretty good job of moving the ball. I don't think it's a selfish thing. I just think that we were hesitant. There were times we, we probably had too many possessions where we, we had, we dribbled the ball and should have been moving it because when they back off of it, you just said, I got to play. I, he's playing behind the defense. I think I can throw it into the post. You know, I, I think I might be open. Do I need to penetrate? That's what that style will do for you. And we have a, we have some systems that we think will work against that style. We're just not very efficient at it right now, so we need to go to it. Phil Kirk only that. played nine minutes tonight. Is there any reason for that? Yes, I had more depth, <laughs> and we, we utilized some of the other players.
See, you, you guys got to get off that kick of countless guys' minutes. You know, we, we every game is going to be different. And uh, it might be games where he's going to th play 30 minutes. It might be games he played 10 minutes. You know, that's not because he's not doing anything bad. It might be that someone else is, 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 is playing better. That's a good thing to have that option. Try coaching that bunch last year with no options. I like this better. Okay? Gotcha. <laughs> Larry, you've had some talented players over the years, but have you seen a duo like Bacon and Beasley come in and do what they have their first two games? Well, well, let's, there's no doubt that they are making major contributions. Um, and, and I think they're playing the game the right way. Dwayne is really responding. I challenged him about being a little bit more aggressive than the boys. He had eight rebounds tonight. That first game he had nine rebounds tonight. Uh, I thought that he had moments where you could just tell he turned it up a notch. Beasley plays with that, that way all the time. What we're trying to get this team to do is to sell out to playing with tremendous effort for long periods of for every position that you're on the court almost to you, so you can fatigue yourself. So we, we can put somebody else in the game, and let them play the same way. If we can continue to keep doing that all year long, uh, we, at some point we'll kind of be at our, our highest level of conditioning, and then we'll be able to, to play hard and execute and be efficient uh, when, when you're playing very, very aggressive. Sometimes that's not always easy to do. Sometimes you make more mistakes when you really, really are playing very fast and hard and consistent with a tremendous amount of effort. So we, we're learning as we go. And, and we're challenging our guys to, to play, not taking the possessions off. And I really thought that, that Dwayne and, and Malik are uh, two guys that are adjusting that. But I can see the thing, thing about Terrence. I think all our guys are responsible. I thought Booker gave us tremendous effort. I, I love F, X effort. I love the, the effort that Phil gave us. Uh, uh, Bo had four block shots. So I think we get in there. It's just that we just got a ways to go in some areas defensively. We gotta be a little more consistent with our, with our, our execution of, of, of our system. We gotta do a better job shooting free throws. I think we're an excellent free throw shooting team, but we shot 61% tonight. Uh, at the beginning of the game, contested shots. Uh, you know, we were great when we contested. We were horrible when we did not. Those are things that areas where we need to grow. Those guys are learning, and and I think they're trying to, to give us. Uh, what we're asking them. Offensively, they're gifted. But the other parts of the game, we need to come along with, like some of the all the guys on the team, in order for us to really, really uh, start giving them that kind of recognition that, they're, that they have arrived in. What are you looking forward to in this tournament? Well, we on a stretch where we're playing five games in nine days. That's challenging, especially for uh, We got five new players we're trying to integrate with some better returning players. Uh, but this is good for us because it's, we, we got to prepare a different game plan for a, a different style, a different team, a different system. So we're learning. You know, it's, it's a great situation to be in with, with, with five new players trying to adjust to play at this level. Uh, I, I really believe that Canisius, not Canisius, a uh, hostel uh, will, will be a, a team that's very dangerous. They're going to have two players. Uh, like, like the kid tonight, they can really kick us going a lot. Um, a lot of guys think that they have two NBA type guards on their team. So and they do a great job of executing. They play uh, a similar defense. They play a little 1 3 1, they play a little 3 3. They press a little bit. So they're going to challenge us and, and, and see where we are early on. You know, I watched South Carolina play last night. They're really strong and physical. Uh, I haven't looked at any of the teams on the other side of the bracket. I watched the ball play. The other night, they're, they're, they're very good. So, so any, any team we play is going to give us the type of challenge we need to improve, and that's good for us this time of year. We love to win. We love to win all of them. Uh, but right now, we're just looking to, to, to continue to keep improving and preparing ourselves for what we know is going to be an unbelievable ACC rock and soccer uh, type of race this year.